Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're playing Earth, Wind and Fire. Now, I mean it's not really in keeping with the types of puzzles that we feature on this channel but we've got yet another speedrun for today. So a couple of reasons for that. One is, I mean, I mean, like I've, I really immensely enjoyed playing uh, a speedrun. Second part is... Uh, well, I mean, the puzzle has a 97% rating at at the time of the recording. So, I imagine that this is probably something that you guys will also enjoy. But what I'm probably going to do is, when I turn this over, I'm going to explain the approach that I'm going to take for the puzzle. Then, I'll actually start my timing. So, walk you through the rules, explain my approach, and then crack on and just try and do it as quickly as I possibly can. Now, with a title like Earth, Wind and Fire, I, I just couldn't help but remember the fifth element where, uh, I mean, it's a classic. I'm sure many of you have actually seen it. Uh, a lovely sci-fi movie from the 90s, at least when I was growing up. That was uh, a lovely movie to see at that time. Although I think it aged well. Even when I've seen it, you know, in my 30s and 40s, I still immensely enjoyed the movie, but it tells you a lot about my taste in movies. So here is what I've attempted to do here is essentially Sleuth is just stepping into some ancient stone temple there. Uh, there is clearly three pillars towards these three elements. Clearly we've got um, green earth, kind of red fire and blue wind. It's kind of often depicted as blue, light blue. So that's kind of my attempt here of trying to represent these three elements. Um, anything else to say before we turn over? No, I think we can crack on with the puzzle. Let's take a look at what we have in store for today. So, Earth, Wind and Fire, speed run by willpower. Now, you're looking at this grid and you may be thinking, wow, this is unusual. And uh, you'd be right. Uh, so, there is the following set of rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, in every column and in every 3x3 three three box. Then, are, then there is the Kropke dot rules, or the consecutive rules. It does explicitly say not all possible dots are given. So, for example, if you have here a 2, to be consecutive, this would have to be 1 or 3. Uh, that would be a valid setup. And because um, not all dots are given, nothing wrong with having something as follows. The fact that these two cells don't have a white dot is not a problem. Right. Now, you're looking at all of these killer cages. They're really called regions in today's puzzle. And essentially, what we're going to have to do is figure out what region is what, and each region is composed of only one set of numbers. So Earth can only be made up of powers of two. One, two, four, and eight. Wind can only be made up of multiples of three. So three, six, and nine. And then finally, neither would be... Um, fire, and that can only be 5 or 7. And essentially, it's up to us to figure out... Um, all of the neighbors of the same elements are in the same region. Yes, and then it's up to us to basically try and figure out which region is what. Once you've determined a region is one element, whatever the element is, essentially, that entire region, which you can see here, is a massive cage that I've got highlighted, that all has to be the same element. So, um, if you want to play along, if you want to explore this temple, uncover these elements, uh, plaster all over this grid, link will be in the description down below for you to play along. And uh, you are encouraged, as part of the rule sets, to post your time in Logic Masters Germany. Um, so once again, I will leave a link to the puzzles um, upload on Logic Masters if you wish to do so. Um, although I know many of you do leave comments down in the video below. So, uh, if you want to start, look away now, because I will probably quickly, briefly explain what I'm planning to do, and then I'll get on with it. Okay, so, um, what I'm noticing is that there is a difference in the sizes of the regions. So, there is only one region that can actually take a four, four digits. So, I'm looking at this, for example, and I'm noticing that these are four cells, they're clearly Earth, that's the kind of approach that I'm going to take. So I'm going to quickly color this. Then I'm expecting we're going to have to use these crop key dots to actually determine some of the numbers. 
and I'm hoping this will allow me to do a reasonably quick time. So first off, coloring, then digits, then Kropke dots, and fingers crossed I'll be able to do it in under the double bonus time of less than 10 minutes. And with that approach laid out, what I'm going to do now is restart the clock and see how I get on. Right, so cages that have four or more elements in it, um, these are clearly all going to be earth. Um, every cage, every, sorry, every box clearly has to have one. So all of these have to be earth. I'm going to go with green. Um, this is clearly air. This is now, well, these three have to be air. This has to be earth. Um, don't know what this is. Uh, this is clearly earth as well. Now these have to be, oh, don't know. Um, I need, come on, am I done? So done, done, done. Let's just keep going. What am I doing here? These, don't know. Oh, they're three of the same thing. They're all wind or air. These, therefore, are fire. Fire. We need two that are fire. We need another air. We need another fire. Uh, these can't be um, fire. We've already done that. This is fire. This is, therefore... Ooh, I've broken something. Nope. That's better, that's looking better, that's better, that's better, that's better. Right, this is fire again, these are air. Um, air again, that's fire, fire, air, um, earth, one, two, I need one of each. This is going to be air and fire, right. So the obvious things, these have to be from one, two. These are probably two, four, and three. Um, these are again, one, two. Interesting, don't know what this is going on here. This is five or seven. I mean, all of these are five sevens, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. How am I doing for time? Two minutes, five, seven, five, seven. I should have actually just double clicked the color. Yeah, that works a lot better. Three, six, nine, nine, not eight. Right, was that even useful? No, these are not three, this is not three, this is three, three, not three, has to be a three, not three, has to have a three. Um, come on, sleuth, five, seven, connected to something. This is clearly not three. Well, I mean, I could do three, four, five. Uh, that's possible. I could do six and seven, no. I need to have two, they have to be two away. So three and six, three and five work. I don't think anything else, it's seven and nine work. So that could be eight as well. That's not helpful. Um, one and two, this is a four. Come on, sleuth, wake up. Eight, um, one, eight, two, four, one, eight. One, two in here gives me an eight, a one, four, this is one, two, or eight, not helpful. This four gives me an eight, and therefore seven and nine. None of these are nine, not nine. In fact, not nine either. Not three, that's a six, that's a three, that's a nine. Okay, let's just focus on one color. That may do the trick, six, three, um, might not do the trick either. Come on, come on, come on. Not nines, not nines. It would be so much easier with... Three and six, this is a nine. Neither of these are nines. In fact, that's a six, nine. Six, three, not three. Three, it's just nine. Six, that's three. Nine, six, nine, six. That's all of them done now, isn't it? Almost six, three, nine, six. Right, come on. We need more of these white crop kiddos. No, we've used them all. Interesting. How am I going to actually do the rest? Uh, so this is not two or eight. This is one or four. This is... Well, we need an eight in here, and it's not there. That's the eight. 
that's another one four this is again another one four that's a two that's a four therefore this is an eight interesting I'm not sure what's going on here um, one two one two again So, like, I, I really need these crop kit. Oh, actually, this seven allows me to just... Yeah, that's just going to help me very quickly complete all of these. I imagine, yeah. Right. Greens, come on. Five minutes. Why am I struggling so much with this? What am I not seeing? One, two. Wherever this cell is, it's in here. So this is the eight. This is the one. This is the two. This is the one. This is a four. This is another one, two. That four. No, not helpful. This is four, eight. This is another four, eight. One, two, four. No. What am I doing? Where is it going next? This two, this one, this one. Yeah, that's not. These are. Yeah, two, one, four, one. That one is not helping. That four is not helping. That one is. That's two, two. One, four, eight. That's a one. This is four, eight. Four eight four eight and two. This is one. This is not one. This is four one eight four eight four eight. Uh, this is two or four. This is two four one two. Six minutes forty. Um, yeah. Like I said, it. This would be immensely easier if um you have. Where's the setting that I'm thinking of? Conflict checker for pencil marks. And then it would just you'll just get through this fairly quickly. But um hopefully that made sense. Coloring um the cages. Um I think it was fairly obvious that these are the ones that could have been green. Then you're left with the blues, then the reds. And yeah, the white crop kit dots basically is sort of the way to get it all going. Um very interested to see you guys uh, and their feedback and now, I know this is not necessarily for new viewers of the channel. It's not the kind of style that we've done. But would love to hear your comments if this is something that I should continue to post or if I just should get back to slightly harder puzzles that require a bit of logic and explanation that I'm laying out. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video um, and the puzzle. And uh, a quick thank you to the channel supporters that you'll see coming up on the screen here. You're welcome to support the channel on Patreon. Um, as well as see what other videos YouTube is going to recommend to you that are similar to this one. Bye-bye for now.